Hey folks, how are ya? Thank you for joining me today. My name is Chris Martin. I like to draw stuff and I'm here to share it with you. I actually have a really fun um, half hour for us planned. I was looking through some of my old materials, uh, some sketchbooks and uh, drawing books and stuff. I was brushing up on my anatomy, but I stumbled across this um, old book that was from my childhood. And uh, I'm gonna show it to you now. I wonder if this Looks familiar to anybody. The uh, Draw 50 series. This one's Draw 50 vehicles, but it's a selection, as you see, from the boats, ships, trucks, trains, airplanes, aircraft, and spacecraft. And uh, just as an example, you have like these step by step kind of pictures, usually broken down into six pieces. They have like first step here, and then it moves across to there. So when I was a kid, I loved these and it made the drawing simple, broke it down into simplified shapes, simple steps. And by the end, you had a finished product you could be proud of. So I don't know, it was always fun. So I thought maybe today I'll pick one and I'll draw it along with you guys and see how it goes. Maybe you can try and guess what it is before I'm done. I don't think it'd be too hard to guess, but um, yeah. So I just I drew a few already. You can see there. I'm gonna I'll show you afterwards. But I'm gonna pick a page. Let's see if I can draw. It's a bit flimsy. I'm trying to stand it up here. Ah, we'll see. Okay, so let's jump to our canvas here. We're using Krita, of course, my favorite drawing program. And we've got a blank can canvas with a bit of a gray background. And I'm going to start rough. I'm going to start with my charcoal pencil. And I'm going to hit record so I can uh, get a time lapse um, at the end as well. Back to layers. Got my layer called rough. And now I'm going to tab in. To a full screen canvas. So I'll draw the first step and then I wonder if I should draw. Yeah, I'll draw this one. I'll draw the first step and then we'll see if you can guess it. You might guess it right away. Here we go. Any ideas? <laughs> Too soon. How about now? Still too soon? Fair enough. Move it up a bit. I wonder how many people watching are familiar with that book series. Remember, we would go to the library as kids, and I would always get Calvin and Hobbes or uh, Garfield or some drawing book. And those ones were, there was always so many of them, different kinds. So that's the first step of six. Any ideas? It's just rough. We're gonna, we'll do a, a, a second pass later with some fine, or to clean up the lines. Okay, second step. That's the second step. Any takers? Going into the third step. Some some vehicles are really tricky to draw. Because while they might be boxy, like a boxy cars, and, and they're based off simple shapes, a lot of the curvatures that the, the vehicles introduce 
they draw them in perspective. Very tricky. So this one's in perspective. There are a few flat, flat on like side profiles or top down. But for this one, I decided to choose a more profile pick. Um, perspective. Let's clean up the lines a bit. It's getting. Hard to see where my lines are. So, by now I'm sure you have a pretty good idea of what's going on here. What kind of vehicle we're trying. Have you ever been in one of these? I don't think I have. What is to limit a sharper angle here? Okay. So that's the third step done. Uh, this one's kind of quick. So, fourth step. And... Something like that. back here. I like how they kind of put out like the landmarks like we were doing figure drawing we do landmarks of uh, the collarbone and various things like the hips and so it's just simple shapes plotting out where all the, the major shapes go see this little line here I don't know what it is until I look at the next step that is Fixing up some of that, that shape there. Something like that. Okay, that's step four done. Step five. Goes like this. I think by now you know what's up. You know what's up. Oops. Let's see what else we got here. So window in the back. Makes it feel like you can draw anything and follow this. It's good to practice your proportions. You know, watching, looking, going back. I don't really measure like this, you know, measure and stuff. Um, it would make things a lot more accurate, but it slows things down quite a bit. And I'm all for speedy. Speedy art. I guess I just like to draw more stuff. 
have the opportunity to draw more stuff. Rather than uh, less, but more polished. Anyway, I think I've said that enough on this channel in my videos. Almost done the fifth step here. See this line here? It was for a little fin. The wonky. That's okay. We'll fix it after. Oops. That is the fifth step. So now we go into the final and uh, looks like these are some windows here. And we'll follow the curvature of the helicopter better. And match this door. What else? So, of course, we have the blades up top. I'll pop back into canvas mode, give myself more room. Just draw right through the helicopter lightly and then press down harder when I come out the other side. That's another trick from animation school is they said no rulers allowed. So you just try it and get good at drawing straight lines. Straight lines are a little wobbly. That's okay. And down here, that looks like a little bit of a... Okay, let's, let's put in these lines more permanently. Did like a little cutaway here. Something like that, kind of. And the kind of landing wheel. I guess. Well, they're all landing wheels. But, uh, okay, so in essence, this is our helicopter. Roughed in real quick, nice and easy. So I'm going to quickly switch over to uh, another layer with a finer pencil and go over these lines, make it look nicer. So I'll pop in a new layer, I'm going to group these just to stay organized, and we say final line. Ellie. So now I go back to my rough line and this opacity bar here, I put it down to about 50. So you know that will drop the opacity of the helicopter. 
and we go to the final line layer, pick up pencil I want to use. There you are. Go to the final line, hit tab again, and an opportunity to push lines and shapes in a direction that you weren't satisfied with in the original. This is kind of too curvy down here, you know, for my liking. So let's see what we can do. Maybe this here is like a tangent. I want to avoid, typically you want to try and avoid where lines kind of go tangent to each other. It just is confusing for the eye. If you can create some separation and they'll pop up in, the, in, in all kinds of places, not just big obvious ones like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to bring the helicopter down a little bit lower. But um, also push the helicopter blade up a bit. Maybe there. Because my rough line, the pencil is so thick, you have to choose like where are you putting your fine line? Are you putting it here? Are you putting it here? Are you putting it in the middle somewhere? Alright, for one continuous solid line, you can. If not, that's alright. tend to do a lot of like line painting almost where you go over and then erase and then go over it and then erase and let's do that after let's draw the whole thing first There are orientations that my hand likes better for drawing really long straight lines. I'm going to draw through the landing legs and then erase it after. I can erase it now. This one curves out like this. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's continue underneath here. Flatten that out a bit. It's a little too curvy, I think. Yeah, that looks better. See, I'm hitting E uh, to switch from drawing to erasing. Sometimes I forget which one I'm on. See, I'm on E, okay. I'm on erase, I should say. <laughs> one wheel. I drew that fairly elliptical. I don't think it should be. Let's 
Sometimes you can copy and paste elements. Like I, maybe I could copy this tire over here and paste it over here. But um, we're here to draw, right? Not digitally edit things. Just happen to like drawing on this tablet because it's like infinite paper. I'm going to bring it around with me. For those that are curious, I'm working on a Surface Pro 8. And there's pros and cons to it, but I really like it. <laughs> Just leave it alone. I should have been able to go a little bit. Okay, anyway, let's go. Brush and match the perspective from the front. I think that original line is pretty good. Finish up the back here. Oops. Wipe the screen. I'm gonna flip it. So we draw a nice, nice straight line. Straight, straightish. There we go. I think that matches my perspective line there. See, that is almost a tangent right there, as an example. If I were to draw this line out like that, that would be very awkward because one is down and below the other. So it's confusing. So let's cheat it this way a bit. You can cheat it a little bit more. And I'll drop down that. Uh, Back wheel like that. Yeah, I think I'll redraw that front tire after I get everything else in. So it is, dig digital is like infinite paper, but the screen is kind of slippery. So there's, you're missing, so I was saying pros and cons, you're missing on working with paper or other dry medium. There's some friction between your pencil and the paper, which doesn't allow or minimizes kind of this wobble, this jiggle joggle on the, uh, See these lines here, they're all kind of wobbly. But it's an aesthetic in a way. Kind of into it. And we're going to come this way and meet it in the back. Triple. So zoom in a bit. A 
Uh, there's a siren. I wonder if you can hear it. <laughs> I say that every video. Just add a little bit of detail of our own. Okay, let's get a nice smooth transition. In. So I've never been on a helicopter like I was saying, but it looks like fun. I would. So the other fin, I guess, doesn't kick out onto the other side uh, in a way that we can see it from this angle. So that's okay. We'll, we'll put in our propeller here. to this light, because it might look better without a hard line. And I can always make it more defined if I want to after. Trying to avoid another tangent there. Okay. So that's the main body done. Get this cockpit window in. So the pilot can see what he's doing. There you are, sir. Continue on. I'm going to be parallel to the cockpit window with my door line. And parallel to my door line to my door line. To me, these windows look tiny. Like who's, who's in here? Or how big is this helicopter? The pilot a giant and his passengers are squirrels and such. Okay. So you would see uh, inside this door, unless it's closed, maybe it's closed. You'd see through these windows, these doors, uh, but in this illustration, there's no uh, detail on the inside. So, rather than just whip something together, I'm just going to leave it blank. I guess I do have to keep that line there. There. That's that line. 
So let's try and get a nice straight line all the way down. And I like, okay, yeah, that perspective is fine. Ooh. Uh, see, that's strange. I have to fix this setting. <laughs> I think it's in Krita, where sometimes I use my two fingers to rotate the screen on this Surface Pro here, but it will undo. And I don't notice it in time to redo it, and then it's lost. That's okay. We just draw our lines all over again. Yeah, it's coming along almost there. Okay. They're out the other side. Hmm. Yeah, this looks a little off to me. Go out just a touch. Oh, that created a weird tangent there. So this, in my mind, is also something I try to avoid. I don't know if it's quite a tangent, but a few lines meeting in the in the in the corner there, like that. I think we can get away with that one, though. It's not too bad. Last line. Boom! A helicopter. Okay, yeah, let's look at that tire again. I'm going to tab out. I'm going to erase it and try again. Use a soft eraser. Because it's softer on my... Because it's... I just like it. <laughs> Um, nope. So I'm trying to draw it in perspective, right? And since the helicopter is like a box, or it's, I'm going to show you, this is probably, like, that's the plane of the helicopter, right? So I want my tire to fit in there. So I just keep that in my head. Could help too if I get rid of that background drawing that's not what I want anyway. Yeah, let me get rid of it. I think that's fine, but it is now smaller than the other one, and the other one really should be smaller than that one. Because it's closer to us, should be. Let's try that again. Do it one more time, but I'll, I'll remove the back layer because it's messing me up a bit. Okay, here we go. Rough layer gone. Get rid of these lines. And let's try it one more time. 
So you can see my cursor, right? I'm kind of ghosting it in the lines before I put them down. And I'm ghosting it, and I'm, my eyes are darting back to the other wheel and back to where my pencil is, back to the wheel. That's about the right size, I think. This one's tricky, but we're gonna have to just be satisfied with this. So, I hope you enjoyed this. We're actually going to do one more step, but it won't take me too long. It'll be pretty quick. I'm going to add some tone. Let's make it pop a bit. Pop a bit, not pop a bit. Okay, good enough. And yeah, this, this propeller back here looks fine with the light lines. Oopsie. I just want to uh, clean up that edge a bit. Tab out, make a new layer underneath the lines, and I'll grab my trusty charcoal. See when the black, 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 I go L once, L lightens it up. So I go one, two, three. And let's say well, underneath is dark for sure, right? bigger and then here and we can probably it's got a curvature to the helicopter so I don't mind doing that Underneath would be dark. Let's say under here would be dark. And maybe back here. So now we've established our light source, we can finish the rest. And look, I don't care about staying in the lines necessarily. I will clean it up a bit if it's egregious. But, you know, it does add to the aesthetic. Underneath the blades, Let's 
to erase this bit here. Maybe I should have started with my darker shading, but I usually go in last with that. And to pop these out a bit. Okay. Most of the shadows from the top there. I'm going to erase that there. And along the edge, so this is some metal, right? That just flush with the body of the helicopter. Also, what color is the helicopter? That would help determine how much light is bouncing off, or even if it's a black helicopter versus a red or a yellow, that would create different tone patterns. I'll go one lighter. Let me tab out and see how light I am. I'm about 50% there now. I'll make my brush really big. Kind of go lightly, lightly with the pen. Make the brush smaller again. I'm gonna erase some of that. Go back in. I'm gonna go a little darker, two two steps darker. Just something like this. You think? Is that kind of make it look like the propellers moving and stuff? Yeah. Okay, to make it really pop, we go. door. And go a little darker now. In fact, I'll go black. Go one step lighter than black. And we make a brush tiny and we get in to the places that are, I think are the darkest, which would be right under the propeller. Something like 
that. And underneath here. Seems more realistic. Just a little harder. You want that contrast from the lights and the darks, right? We like our dramatic lighting. there. Can hear we pretty dark. And of course under here One final thing we should do is make it look like these propellers are spinning. And some like motion blur or something. Kind of like we did with the propeller in the back. So how do we do that? Maybe I'll use my charcoal brush 50% and let's see, spinning this way. Nope. Might just leave it alone. It's extra credit. Maybe I should have done it on a separate layer. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to undo all of those. And I'm gonna do it on another layer. I'm gonna do it properly. One more layer, real quick. And I'm gonna get the charcoal brush. Charcoal pencil, rather. Just kind of make some lines like this.
most. See this, that line, and this line. Get our shoulder into it. I don't know if this is adding anything. Maybe I just leave it alone. Go. Like that. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I think I'm leaving him out. I'm gonna leave him out. Cool. So let's sign it down in the corner. And that is our helicopter. So it took me a little bit longer than I thought, and that's okay. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And we'll try something new next time. Okay, thank you again for joining me. Take care, folks.